You don't have to only manifest and create your life in meditations. You can also speak into existence whatever you wish for. And that's what happened to us. And uh, that's what we are going to share in our video. Because we were wishing for, or I was wishing for going for all-inclusive vacation with Raphael for five years. And we, yes, we traveled, but we never went for all-inclusive vacation. So after our dog, Looney, uh, left her body on this planet and transitioned, uh, we didn't know what to do. And uh, Raphael once mentioned that he would like to check cruises and he would be interested in going to cruise. And uh, one day, one day. And then we realized we have nothing to do, mm, nowhere to really live because we were planning our living with uh, our dog and now anymore she's not with us. And we really lost our like uh, personality because we were so tied to her. She, we were like all about her. So. We were counting that she will be, or I was counting that she will be at least uh, living two more years with us. And mm -hmm. we were searching for a nice apartment for us where she could live with us. So mm -hmm. she has everything she needs. And now we have nothing. Yeah. So I was speaking all the time with this enthusiasm. Hey, let's have a all-inclusive vacation. I need with you all-inclusive vacation. We have to go all-inclusive vacation and finally experience it with each other, just not cooking and uh, cleaning and uh, shopping for food and washing laundry and stuff like that. And because we did these kind of travelings, uh, travels a lot and now I wanted to have it a little bit different because I was tired of all these things even though it was called like getaway or vacation but it wasn't really because we still had our apartment and we still had to do all what was what was necessary and um, what was interesting w was that the universe always combines everything and times it in a mm -hmm. the greatest times so our loony died we didn't know what to do and, and we didn't know where to go even because we were really planning to be with her in a certain country in my my home country and now we were just like i had like insight hey how about the cruise well we were mm -hmm. we knew that we will be going to dr jody spencer's event in yeah. cancun in december yeah. and we were planning to take a flight there leave luna with petra's father for those uh, 12 days and then we just immediately go back mm -hmm. and then after some time after we were processing luna's death we and are still processing it we're still processing it but we were like okay what do we do now doesn't make sense to now search for an apartment just for the sake of having an apartment which we anyways will not like and uh, has to be mediocre mm -hmm. and so maybe we'll go to some other country for some time and it was a little bit scary idea because we were not prepared for this yeah and it was out of our comfort zone and then we were thinking about okay we could maybe go to the Dominican Republic a little bit before we go to Cancun and then Petra told me hey what about a cruise maybe Luna sent it to us from the yeah. space what about the cruise because I didn't want to fly anymore after last year's experience in economy class over like Atlantic you know very long flight 11 or 12 hour flight plus 24 hours delay because of the snow in Zurich I said to Rafael that and the back uh, flight back from uh, Mexico to Europe is really much worse because of the jet lag and all these things. I said, I, I never want to fly economy class again. I fly bigger, better class or I just don't fly. I, I'm not going to be there as a sardine. We couldn't even move and mm, Rafael is very, really bad. very tall and he couldn't even move whole whole flight he couldn't even stretch his legs or put their his his whole legs and behind uh, the, seat. the airplane was just full to the brink you know yeah, you can't move anywhere people are annoyed it's just yeah it's really crazy that they make airplanes like this yeah they're a bit mm -hmm. cheaper but they're just squeezing people in like sardines so i would never think about these combinations 
but the universe just combined Looney leaving plus um, you know my not willingness to fly anymore economy class and our trip to Cancun to to overseas otherwise we fly normally economy mm -hmm. and uh, with trip to Cancun and with our all-inclusive vacation and combined into this uh, transatlantic Atlantic cruise which is absolutely amazing because we get into the place where we need to be mm -hmm. and we don't fly in this long 12-hour flight because also in December it could be that uh, there could be storms uh, like snowstorms like last year and uh, it can be very unpleasant and some flights are cancelled or whatever like last year and uh, now we are like on the go on and it's perfect timing like i also had to go to switzerland to take care of something for my car mm -hmm. which had to be done by the end of this year we had it also already earlier planned and then a week later we took a flight to barcelona and now we're on this cruise that takes us to miami and those cruise ships they don't go they don't cross the atlantic all the time they do this in autumn they go from yeah, europe to yeah. america which is exactly the timing which we needed yeah. because we have the December Cancun week-long retreat mm -hmm. uh, with Dr. Joe and then they will go back in spring. You can't even figure it out. You are just... We, I could never think, think it with my, s with my limited... I think um, this cruise ship which we are on goes only once to America and then it spends the winter season in America and mm -hmm. comes back to Europe. So it combined all our requirements together and put it into this, especially this trip, which is for us because uh, it's almost impossible that everything was just filled uh, into, like put into reality just because I was speaking it loud and I just programmed. I said, I'll, I'm not flying anymore. If I would have to fly economy class like this, like last time, I'm not doing this because I am just liking myself enough for this. Because last year we were really, it was a beautiful manifestation, which we, which we did last year, created Dr. Joe's Cancun uh -huh. retreat. But also the flights were incredibly tough. And it was uh, really really bad and challenging especially for him because he's very very tall and and also yeah. like it was for us i think something so out of the out of reach that we could go to dr joe's retreat in mm -hmm. cancun that we would ever experience this in that luxurious hotel that i feel we also our old program wanted to keep us make it really hard for us like so we have to really work hard and really deserve it mm -hmm. and now just everything so far went really amazing we had small delays with an uber we had a small delay with check-in in a hotel but just everything worked out really well and so far we're on the third or fourth day of this cruise yeah. and it has been better than i could have ever imagined I, it's, i'm so amazed by relaxing, it relaxing you know because totally. i don't have to obsess about cleaning and buying groceries and what are we going to cook and what are we going to you know it's so cool to be sometimes in all-inclusive and I know mm -hmm. it's we were not these people because we were prioritizing to do backpacking in Asia in Southeast Asia or something uh, super simple but then you know it gets so tired and uh, it, it gets so boring and uh, overwhelming because uh, you know person has to have sometimes this kind of letting go and just because we also take uh, took care of Looney mm, quite uh, intensely and she also has to have food uh, at least once mm, I think we did twice a day I did and uh, she has to have water several times a day she has to go to pee and uh, you know how it is with doggies she needed her medicine which I didn't give her medicine, I gave her a lot of herbs and supplements which were mm, helping her from my perspective much more because she was having no pain at all in her life. And, and now, now we also get to dress up for dinner and we get to go out mm -hmm. together and 
Yeah, we are be learning. With people. We are learning how to dress up again <laughs> because we were spending most of our travels in sweatpants and uh, we didn't really practical to clothes. Yeah, yeah, sneakers. So yeah, we still we still are, still are learning. Yeah, so it's really a beautiful experience so far. Today we were whole day in a place uh, it's called Cadiz in Spain, and we will definitely share some more things yes, about the cruise. We are still seeing Cadiz uh, from our window. And, and it was really beautiful in the city. Yeah, and uh, I just wanted to say that we listened a lot uh, to Rhonda Byrne. Byrne? Rhonda Byrne. Byrne. She created The Secret, the book. She wrote the book and uh, she also talks about this kind of magical mm, power of words. Also, Louise Hay talks about, used to talk about uh, magical power of words. So, whatever you speak out with intention, speak speak up or speak with intention, it's going to manifest. Because speak it into existence. Into we don't. You don't even really have to tune into it or yeah. meditate about it or uh, feel that it happens or, mm -hmm. or already has happened. It's yeah. just you speak it into existence. If you are trying to figure out your way, it can be the words. Mm, you know how how to manifest, how to create something into life. Don't be tricked. This is not only blanket, and in that blanket is not a pillow. There is Ari. She's looking at us. I wrapped her in there and she was so happy to be in such a cozy warm blanket. This blanket was Luna's and she loved it and we tested if Ari loves it too and she definitely... What do you think? Do you, do you think she loves it? Oh yes. <laughs>